Salam Hijatra and a very good morning to Dr. Marina. Today I'll be presenting my individual assignment on pandemic mental health crisis and economic growth. This paper has been divided into three subsections, which is the introduction, the body. The body will be discussing about the mental health crisis and also the economic growth and followed by the conclusion. Introduction. An epic COVID irresistible illness, which is known as COVID-19, which is brought about by SARS-CoV-2, has been reported by the World Health Organization as a dangerous worldwide pandemic. The scourge of COVID-19, dangerously in Wuhan, spread all through China. It transformed into a pandemic in only two months. As of April 4, 2020, the quantity of cases moved over 1 million with a loss of life of more than 50,000 around the world. The worldwide effect and the general well-being danger of COVID-19 is the most genuine found in respiratory infection since the 1918 flu. Both COVID-19 and the 1918 flu pandemic are related with respiratory spread. A huge level of contaminated individuals with asymptomatic cases communicating diseases to other people. The high casualty rate. As April 5, 2020, there are 3,662 cases and 61 passing in Malaysia. Malaysian government were making brief general well-being moves to forestall a dramatic extent of cases by consistently screening and test higher danger people, detaching patients and follow and isolate the context of forestall optional spread. These activities appear to be palatable until enormous group cases happen. The next we'll be talking about our first issue, which is our mental health crisis. The COVID-19 pandemic is highlighting the need to urgently increase investment in services for mental health or risk a massive increase in mental health conditions in the coming months. According to the policy brief on COVID-19 and mental health issued by the United Nations today, the impact of the pandemic on people's mental health is already extremely concerning, said Dr. Tedros, Director General of World Health Organization. Social isolation, fear of contagion, and loss of family members is compounded by the distress caused by loss of income and of employment. The Malaysian Research Organization, the Center, in April, said an examination it led track down exactly 45% of 1,084 Malaysian respondents were encountering different degrees of uneasiness and melancholy during the MCO. The absolute of 34% of 4,142 calls got by the befrienders between March 18 and May 16 were identified with the COVID episode. Over the 33% of the calls about COVID-19 were self-destructive. The head minister likewise detailed that it got somewhere in the range of 2,500 calls and in excess of 1,000 WhatsApp messages between March 28 and April 12. During the beginning of MCO, on its psychological first aid hotline, we Malaysians are in emergency from a financial viewpoint and a medical services, which incorporates the psychological well-being and prosperity of a kind of Malaysians. The effect of COVID-19 has figured out how to bring drawback in every single degree of society from each point possible. Only a couple months prior, we are managing the actual effects of COVID-19. However, now here comes an influx of monetary ramifications and appalling psychological well-being issues. Next, I'll be discussing about economic Malaysian economic growth. The data below shows Malaysian economic performance fourth quarter of 2020. As indicated by the Malaysian Finance Minister, Tengku Dato Sri Safral Abdul, as he said that the subsequent movement control MCO cost Malaysia's economy worth 700 million ringgit day by day, which shows a nearly enormous pace of decay contrasted with the 2020 Malaysian 2.4 billion every day. As per the Malaysian Ministry of Finance, Malaysia's total national output GDP is required to decrease by 4.5% in 2020 and expected to extend its level to 2021 of 6.5% to 7.5. The execution and following argumentation of the movement control have significantly influenced Malaysian country presentation. Below are the few five key points that have hampered the Malaysian economies. First, the expensive base in limitation and travel hazard overdines have influenced all travel industry related areas. Next, the global inventory network has affected the creation and exchange exercise of the assembling area. The expanding misfortune caused by electrical and electronics are 
assess at 7.28 billion ringgit of GDP, while the effect of the censor is assessed about 2.29.12 billion. Followed by the decrease in private utilization and speculation because of diminished family spending brought about lessen of removal pay. According to the Department of Statistics Dosan, as of 1st May 2020, 60.78% all out of 4,094 mentioned organizations reacted that no business or income during the MCO time frame. The organization's fundamental difficulties are monetary hotspot for pay and rental installment and decrease in client. The jobless rate increased to 4.9 in January 2021 as per expected. Merchant gross domestic product has plunged 3.4% for the quarter 4 of 2020 when constructed with a decay of 2.6% in the mid quarter. To the general year 2020, Merchant GDP contracted 5.6% with 4.3% in 2019. The 2020, the different development control request was forced in the country since 18 March up to this point to check the episode of COVID-19, hence prompting the economic exercise recording to a negative development for the quarters of 2020. Malaysian GDP for the quarter, fourth quarter of 2020 contracted about 3.4%, brought about by the decrease in every single financial area. Administration area was a significant supporter of monetary defeat. The decline of administration area was because of a travel industry related enterprise following by homegrown travel in the country. Malaysia's economy is led upon to develop by 6.7% in 2021 after an extended compression of 5.8% in 2020 brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. As per the most recent release of the World Bank's Malaysian Economic Monitor, showing that the seeds dispatched today the fruit will control of the third wave and viable carry out of conveyance of antibody could prompt a quicker than anticipated recuperation in shopper interest, more prominent financial backers, certainty, and therefore a fast recuperation in homegrown monetary movement in 2021. Indications of recuperation are appearing with Malaysians posting a modest constriction of 2.9% in the quarter 3 2020, contrasted with a 17.1% in quarter 2, 2020. Monetary and estimators like money move and compensation appropriations have helped family going through with private utilization, contracting 2.1% in quarter 3, 2020, contrasted with 18.5% in quarter 20, 2020. In any cases, the new swell in COVID-19 cases are rich, recharged development controls and could corrupt Recuperation of because of vulnerabilities and encompassing the arrangement of a compelling antibody and the robustness of appearance in worldwide development that will impact development possibilities. Next, we'll be moving on to the last part, which is our conclusion. We need to transform the recuperation into a genuine chance to do things appropriate for what has to come. Falling back implies not getting back to the same old thing. However, snatching the chance to construct an economy that is more grounded, greener, and more solid and general public gives us up now ready. It likewise implies running after accomplishing the Sustainable Development Goals under the Malaysian Obligation to 2030 Agenda of Sustainable Development. A portion of the vital viewpoints from Malaysia can be recognized. That's all for me. Thank you.